Hello, my name is Chef Arnold. Maybe you've had the privilege of eating a shepherd's pie. You know, a shepherd's pie is a very nice combined meal. Succulent lamb layered with potatoes. So good. But have you wondered that you can actually make an orange flesh sweet potato shepherd's pie? Here we are, we have our orange flesh sweet potatoes. I've washed them, I've chopped them. They're in the water so that they don't oxidize. So we need a pot. We put in some hot water. And as we boil the potatoes, we also need to prepare the garden peas because now this is a combination recipe. So I'll take my sweet potatoes. There you are, gently. You need to put in a dash of salt, just a dash of salt. The orange flesh, sweet potato, comes almost naturally seasoned and packaged. So you only need to adjust it a little bit so that you can get the desired results. So we cover that baby and we're good to go. So these, these are the garden peas. You can call them minji, some people call them minji, depending on where you're coming from. So we also need a little bit of, soy, of, of salt into our hot water. We are briefly boiling them or parboiling them. There you are. So basically, when you talk about a, a shepherd's pie, a shepherd's pie is made from lamb. This is minced lamb. You have a shepherd's pie, you have a cottage pie. But now the only unique thing here is that we're actually making it using our orange flesh sweet potatoes. Back here now to our cooking pots. You can see now the, the garden peas or the minji. They are for boiling, they're very green, nice, looking very good. So I need to, to drain them and refresh them. Our garden peas are done and ready. We'll require them for the next process. So now we start a bit about now doing the meat. So we have our onions. This is onions, so already diced. This is celery, so already diced. These are carrots, garlic and ginger. So in the meantime, as we wait for that, we should be able to chop these tomatoes, roughly chop them. Puree them in the blender. The beauty of cooking is it allows you to multitask, it allows you to concentrate. So we are grazing our pan with some good vegetable oil. You can multitask, and the only way you can multitask when you're cooking is to be able to, to, pre to prepare what it is that you want to do. When you have everything on the set, the way we have it over here, you're able to do one or two things at the same time and be able to save time. You can even be able to sing your favorite song as you wait for something to simmer or boil. As you can see, that's exactly now I'm moving over to to blend the tomatoes. There we are. The tomatoes is blended. And as I was saying, I'm all alone here. So even if I sing, even if I sing, nobody will be there to applaud me or to even criticize me. 
uh, or to even wonder what it is that I'm singing. So now you can see the onion. I don't want it to brown. I just want it to sweat. I want it to give out, to emit its flavor. I'm putting in the celery. Putting in the celery. It's a very nice aromatic vegetable. There you have it. Then I'm also doing in the ginger and garlic because I don't want the ginger after taste and garlic to, to remain in the food. Sometimes when you, you prepare food with ginger and garlic, you have a situation whereby you find that so much of that ginger and garlic remains within your system. It's like you can feel it's like you're eating raw ginger as you're eating the food. So when you fry the ginger and garlic like that, you're able to mitigate that you are able to instead enjoy the fusion of flavors that it brings. Now we are taking our lamp. Don't be afraid. Just put it in. The whole lot, we need this to cook. So now you need a bit of high heat because we introduced lamp which was refrigerated for safety reasons. We keep it under refrigeration. So now I should be able to introduce the tomato paste. So you find that in some dishes you are able to introduce the tomato paste with the onion and some dishes you are not able to do that. Like if you had introduced the tomato paste with the, with the lamb, you have that chard that uh, it's like it burns. So we had to let it steam until it, it almost, almost all the juices have dried up. In that high heat. So now we should now be able to take our peas. Remember the peas that we had boiled. Remember the carrots that are diced. It gives it a meaty, veggie look. Looks very complete. So when you're able to pair it with the orange flesh potatoes, you end up with a complete meal actually on the go. You don't have to to add anything else, maybe just a simple garden salad to enable you to enjoy that meal. So we also have these tomatoes. These are tomatoes that we had blended or pureed. Add that. So we need to put in some, some stock or water so that now it can simmer until it reduces into the consistency we want. Take this off the heat so that I'm able to decant some of the juices. It might get a bit too dry. Decant some of the juices, set it aside to be able to, to mash it. This now we introduce our butter. This is butter. And milk. I'll now reduce the heat levels on the orange flesh sweet potato. As you can see now the butter, the butter gives it a taste, a creamy taste. We put in some cinnamon and oregano, it's a mixed spice and herb to give it, to complement the, the texture and the flavor. So now the next step is to check for the freshness of this egg. Because we'll use this egg to get
get a very good finish to the surface. It's nice and fresh. Have it there. So you take part of the potatoes to this Pyrex dish. Spread it nicely. Dish. Don't be afraid. Then I take in more of the sweet potato. It's still an art brick brick laying. Same as cookery is also an art. So this egg basically is meant to give us a very nice beautiful finish to this dish it's optional maybe you don't like eggs or maybe you're allergic to eggs there you are. so now it's ready for the oven you put it in the oven for about 10 minutes or until you get a beautiful nice surface on top of it There we are, have it. It's looking real good. Try to cut through. I'm presenting it with a fruity veggie salad so that you're able to combine all those flavors. Enjoy.